We're now being joined by security expert and social commentator Quanam Terence. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. One the news of, uh, of course, uh, bringing the toll gates, uh, toll gates back by the federal government uh, dropped uh, different reactions from across the country. Can you share your own reaction with us? I think uh, the federal government is losing track of actually what they are supposed to do for Nigerians at the moment uh, because this is a country that has been involved by a lot of insecurity uh, and challenges and uh, everybody has been impoverished and now you are trying to bring a toll and begin to tax them. Uh, it's quite amazing. I think uh, what they would have done was look at the infrastructure that has been damaged through these insecurity issues. Uh, because if we go to places like the Northeast, where tanks are being used on the road infrastructure uh, there and they are completely destroyed, we will be looking at bringing private sector participation into rebuilding our infrastructure. Because as it stands at the moment, Government is obviously overwhelmed in the build of our infrastructure going forward. Uh, so I think the framework should have been how the private sector will have come in and be able to develop our infrastructure and then harness back uh, their investment. Uh, we are aware of uh, certain roads in this country already that they have already considered to, uh, to the Chinese government investors who are within the country already developing them and they have developed ways in which they are going to recover their money. I don't subscribe to the federal government finding ways of trying to begin to uh, bring back huge uh, taxes on, uh, on Nigeria because even if we look at our road connections, uh, most of our roads uh, within 200 kilometers we must connect into another road that we will still have to pay a toll. And that is going to be huge on, uh, on a lot of uh, uh, Nigerian citizens that are going to be using these roads. I've been talking of the roads. Which roads is the federal government even developing? Because almost all our roads in this country are totally in bad shape. They are completely dead trapped and we are losing Nigeria on a daily basis. So I don't think that roadmap is giving any hope to any Nigeria. It's better as regulating the angle of Nigeria on this government. Okay, let, let's now talk, you know, about the um, timing for this policy. Um, you know, some have mentioned that, you know, we're yet to recover from COVID-19 and the, the economic challenges of that. So do you also think that this might be, um, you know, the wrong time to speak about things like this? Even if, you know, the, the, the minister has said that this, it wouldn't start, the, the minister said it wouldn't start until these roads are motorable. Uh, well, from, the, from the way they are even doing these roads, I don't think these roads will be motorable within their tenure. And uh, from the way Google I started, I told you that they are losing track of what actually they are supposed to do to Nigeria at the moment because this is a country that has been ravaged by insecurity and then with the pandemic that is still lingering uh, within the country. I think it's not uh, the right, the timing is completely wrong and uh, I think they actually don't know what to do at the moment to please Nigeria for the complete failure uh, of this government in building infrastructure for us because they reduce eight years to build no road at all because there's no road that has been completed by this government anywhere that I'm aware of. All right, I, and I also want us to talk about the public-private partnership idea, uh, which you already mentioned. Do, do you see this as uh, a huge step into completely, you know, pushing a lot of the infrastructure that you know that needs work into PPP agreements? Um, I completely subscribe to the federal government. Uh, going into private uh, public partnership uh, in building our entire infrastructure, not just roads, uh, that should also uh, has to do with our railway, that should also have to do uh, with the, the more important industries uh, that are scattered all over this country because only through that that we can be able to truly uh, believe in the kind of re-engineering uh, re process that we need to bring back into this country uh, because at the moment our government is completely overwhelmed that even uh, if they are borrowing to even pay uh, the workers that are on their payroll. So I don't see where a government is borrowing to pay workers on its payroll will be building infrastructure. So I subscribe completely to uh, the public uh, uh, private partnership. And if this, if this public uh, private partnership, if they are going to develop this infrastructure, 
Obviously, if we are discussing the issues of those, it is understandable because we know that they are going to recover their money and after that, those those will go away and Nigerians will be free to enjoy this infrastructure. All right, final question. Like you mentioned, um, this doesn't seem likely to kick off in the tenure of the current administration. Um, is there a possibility that by the time their government, uh, this government is leaving power or leaving office, you know, this agreement may be pushed aside? Yeah, I think the government that has direction and focus will obviously put uh, this kind of agreements, this kind of busy policies, uh, a rush kind of policies aside because it's not even uh, something to look into because uh, we are a country that needs to completely be overhauled uh, with what we have seen in the last eight years. So I think a government that will come and has a very good focus and plans for us will not be able to go into those kind of things. Uh, we, we need a better roadmap to be able to revamp our infrastructure. And I think we are going to critically look into uh, uh, the people and the party that can be able to do that for us in time to come because uh, this, government, this party and this government has completely failed in that uh, uh, regard. All right. Obviously, a lot of work needs to be done, and we hope that we can speak with you again as uh, time passes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Conum Terence, uh, for joining us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.